back to my channel i am super excited to bring you guys this video my husband did such an amazing job on all of my gifts he knows me so so well and so i know i'm like really late with putting this video up um today is january 9th when i am filming this video i'm going to try to get it edited and get it up this week for you guys um because christmas has came and went you guys but I feel like it's been really chaotic around here the last few weeks um, since Christmas. Just trying to get back into routines and schedules with after being on winter break from school and just trying to get back into the routine of just like our daily routines with homeschool and just daily life things. I feel like we were just like really lazy over the holidays and just spending time with family and watching the kids play and playing with them with all of their gifts. So the house is like turned upside down right now and i am just trying to work as as fast as i can and do as much as i can each day little by little to get it back in order um and if you have kids you know exactly what i mean but anyways i've been wanting to film this video for you guys um but i just haven't gotten around to it and today i finally have time while they're napping i'm gonna show you guys everything that my husband got me for christmas you guys he is such a doll he did so so great so I guess let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing, you're probably gonna laugh, but um, this is a wig unit. Um, you've probably seen me on here in some vlogs. I will put on like a fake ponytail, I'll put in fake braids, and I mean, even though I have hair, and I love my curly hair, don't get me wrong, but I have my days where I don't feel like doing my hair, or it's just not working with me the way I want it to work. Curly girl, love and hate relationships. If you have curly hair, you know exactly what I mean. Um, and so sometimes I just like to switch it up without having to cut my hair or color my hair or do anything to my hair. I can just throw a wig on and have a different look for the day. So anyways, he got me this 100% um, human hair um, wig unit. It is a lace front. Um, it came in this cute bag I thought it was really cute. Um, and it's gorgeous, you guys. It is so gorgeous. Whee! So, this is what it looks like. It is so, so soft. And this is my first, like, human, actual 100% human hair wig. I usually just get, like, the synthetic ones because they're just super cheap and it's just something to just throw on real quick. Um, but it's so cute and it's so soft. Um, so like I said, this is a lace front. Um, I will pop up on the screen um, what it looks like like on somebody um, and yeah I got this he got this for me off of Amazon these wig units are not cheap it was like 80 something dollars it was on sale for Christmas and then it did come with like its own wig cap and oh it actually comes with like one of those straps that after like you glue on your unit you can just like Put the, the velcro strap over it to help the glue adhere anyways i just like to switch it up every now and then so i thought that was very sweet of him to get me that um so basically for christmas um i will make lists on stuff that he can get me all sorts of different places things he could get me in person things he can order online um and then he also knows me really well so he knows what i love um so i'm gonna I guess dive into like the clothing stuff that he got me I'm not gonna open these um, well I guess I will open them because I haven't even opened them yet these are leggings these are my favorite leggings you guys they are buttery soft buttery smooth and I have so many colors by them I also have like the biker shorts um so I'll just go ahead and open one for you guys so you guys can see what they look like I'll also pop a picture up here on the screen so you can see what they look like Oh, they're so soft. So anyways, this is what they look like. They're just your basic, typical leggings. Um, being a stay-at-home mom, you guys, leggings are my best friend. I love these things. You can just pair it really well with, you know, a graphic t-shirt, a long sleeve, throw on some running shoes, even some boots, and you're good to go. So he got me those, and it comes with, what, one, two, three, four. It comes with four colors. I guess I should show you guys the color. So it comes in this baby blue. It comes in this like pinky magenta color. 
and then black and this like army green color so those are neat i'm gonna love those um he also got me this sweater there is like a little stains on them because i have been loving this sweater you guys and um with baby girl being super clinky she's been getting all her little food on me so i need to wash it it's just like this fuzzy super soft little sweater um and it just like zips up and zips down i love it and then it has like little pockets down here which I love it also has like a drawstring right here which is pretty cool so yeah he got me this this came from Walmart um the leggings came from Amazon and the wig unit came from Amazon and then another shirt that he got me he knows me so so well you guys um if you know me you know I am like all things 90s just anything nostalgic from me growing up in my childhood that is like everything me so I'm also a huge Disney fan so um this is such a super cute shirt and this is what it is you have Lilo and Stitch you've got Alice in Wonderland the Lion King Mickey Mouse and friends so I thought this was super super cute and he got this from target he also got me this um thermal pajama set for christmas um this was actually in my christmas eve box he made me a christmas eve box um if you did watch all of my christmas videos and everything that i got my kids for christmas then you would know it's a tradition of mine we do christmas eve boxes every single year for for each other and for the kids and so basically what goes into a christmas eve box for our household is I like to put a pair of Christmas jammies, a book, um, a movie. I usually try to have it correspond to the holiday and I'll put like a treat inside and a toy. Um, so these were the Christmas jammies that was in my Christmas Eve box. Um, these are also from Target um, and so it just comes with the long sleeves and pants. So these are super cute, I love these. Um, and then, oh, another thing that he got me, um, I actually used this this morning, is this coffee cup. And it says, all mama wants is a silent night. And ain't that the truth? Okay, at the end of the night, all we want is peace and quiet. Read my book before bed, no interruptions. That is the dream night for me. So I love this cup. I used this cup this morning for my coffee. Um, last pair of clothing items here are these pants. And then they just are distressed. And there's a piece of like lint on it, but anyways, these are really, really cute. They've got some pockets. <laughs> there's like lint all over it. Um, anywho, um, yeah, he's got me these and he also got me a blue pair of these, which I'll pop up on the screen because I've been wearing them like crazy and they're dirty right now. Um, and they just fit my body so so good i'm in love i want every single color that they have um and he got me these off of amazon so he got me two pairs of jeans okay moving on to some nail stuff if you guys don't already know i do my own nails it was something that i taught myself during covid i taught myself how to do my own acrylic nails and then i also do my own press on nails i don't always do acrylic because i have kids and that takes a really long time so i usually opt for my own press on nails so he got me some stuff for my nail stuff um one day i'll have to show you guys my vanity because i have all kinds of nail stuff you guys i am like such a nail hoarder i have everything that you could possibly need you would think i'm running my own nail shop like seriously um but anyways he got me this beetles um 20 color gel polish kit and it comes in this box this is the pastel paradise you guys and these colors are so beautiful um if you know me you would know that i love bright pastel neon colored nails i really don't like dark colored nails like that is not me um every once in a while i will do it like you know for like halloween and like the fall season but i love pastel bright neon colors so these are the colors that it comes with you guys it's so freaking pretty i've already used like the lavender purple so cute so I can't wait to dive into these and some super cute Easter nails this year. And then it just comes in this like little tray, which is really neat. Um, I've never seen that before. So this is super cool. So he got me these pastel colored gel polish colors. And then for some more nail 
polish colors because I just don't have enough apparently. I do, I have a lot. I have a lot, um, but anyways, I'm like a hoarder when it comes to nail polish. He got me this Modelone's Gel Nail Polish, which this is my runner up. Um, I love these gel polish colors as well too, and you get a whole lot more for your money too, and I feel like they're just like really good quality. But he got me this nudie palette of gel nail polish colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. I love nudie colors, so I cannot wait to use this. It comes with like your base coat, your top coat. Um, it also comes with base coat, top coat. What else does this come with? It comes with a matte top coat if you want matte nails. It also comes with a nail primer, so that is really neat. So I got all of these beautiful nudie um gel nail polish um colors which is really cool and he got both of these nail polish all these nail polishes he got both of the nail polish boxes off of amazon okay moving on to some nail tips that he got me I'm not like really particular when it comes to brands that I like for my press on nails. Um, so this is actually a new one to me. This is the Soft Gel No File Medium Coffin Nails and it comes in this little case and I've actually already used them and they are really good. Um, this is what it looks like inside and these are just like clear nails and they're already like pre-filed so you don't have to file them and that is what they look like. Um, so. I love anywhere from short to long nails. It just really depends on what I'm feeling in the moment. I usually opt for shorter nails, even though I'm a super long nail girl, I usually opt for shorter nails because I do work from home and I have to do a lot of typing um, for my job. So I usually opt for shorter nails because it's just a lot easier when I'm typing for my job. Um, okay, so he also got the nail tips off of Amazon, and then he also got me this Mockart Nail Art Display Stand, which I have been wanting for a while. Um, I'm not going to open it because it's literally like in pieces, but I'm going to pop up on the screen what this is and what it looks like. And so basically, I can use that to paint all of my nails and then put them on and make different designs and things. And then I can also just have like my nails out on display, like a set out on display on my vanity. So I thought that was really cool. I've already used it and I love it. So he got me that. Um, I guess we'll move on to a pair of boots that he got me, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm like really excited to show you guys these. I am in love with these. I haven't worn them yet. I need to have like the perfect outfit. But I have been wanting some white cowboy boots for a long time now. And I got some. I'm so excited. These are so, so cute. So cute. Um, so he got me some white cowboy boots. And I am size 9 for reference out there. If you are looking for some cowboy boots yourself, these are size 9. They're so freaking adorable. I cannot wait to wear these. Um, they also have this in a brown pair and a black pair, and I want both of those colors. So I'm definitely going to have to put those on my list for um, my birthday or something. Um, but yeah, he got me these. These are so cute, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> so I cannot wait to wear those. He also got those um, off of Amazon. I usually buy a lot of stuff off of Amazon just because, you know, we don't have to actually go out into the stores. Um, so we usually tr do order um, each other's gifts mainly all online. And then we usually buy stuff in the stores when it comes to like stocking stuffers and Christmas Eve boxes. Um, but mainly we pretty much order everything for each other online. Um, okay. So another thing that he got me, which I'm super excited about, are these bookshelf ends that hang on the wall. I am so excited. If you know me, you know I'm a huge book lover, bookworm. I collect books. And so I am really excited about this. I'm not going to pull these out, but I will pop up on the screen what they look like. Um, he also got these off of Amazon, so I can't wait for him to put these up for me. And I can put some of my like collection books, like my duology books, or just like books that like come in series on these shelves and that's kind of like my thought process on this so he got me those and then you guys like I said I'm a huge bookworm ah! got me the Karen McManus one of us is lying series oh my gosh you guys I have been wanting these books for freaking 
ever. Every time I see them, I'm just like, I want, I want, I want. Um, it's really hard for me to hold back when it comes to books. Like if I'm in the store or even online shopping at my like discounted bookstores, I go crazy y'all. I go so crazy. I am just, I am literally a huge bookworm and it doesn't matter when it comes to books for me or books for the kids. I buy so many. Um, but anyways, be on the lookout for, um, I'm going to have another book outlet haul coming, you guys. I bought a lot of books. I bought a lot of books. Haven't read this series and you love to read, check these out because they are so good. They're basically kind of like a high school drama mystery thriller books um, and they're really, really good. So this is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus um, and it is a three book series. Um, so I actually already finished this one. And then the next one in the series is called One of Us is Next and I am currently working on this one. As you can see, I am almost through it. Um, so working on this book, you guys, it is so good. Um, so I'm almost through that one. And then the third one is called One of Us is Back. Oh, I cannot wait to finish this because there is actually a Peacock original TV show of this book series, you guys. So hopefully it lives up to the books because so far, these were so so good like so good i was thoroughly impressed with what i've read so far um so i cannot wait to watch the show so i highly recommend checking out these books if you are a book lover they are really really good i like i said i'm a huge fan of all things 90s you guys i love the 90s the way of life in the 90s the cartoons the movies the food the snacks just the whole vibes of 90s okay you probably get tired of hearing me say this but i'm not kidding like 90s is embedded in me and it is who who i am who i am today like literally like no joke anyways i love funko pops you guys i am on a journey to collect funko pops and um hubby knows me well these actually were not on my list um, oh, I did want to mention that those books all came from Target, um, but he got me all of the Rugrats Funko Pops, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was so in love when I seen these, so I'm going to show them to you guys. So I got, he got me the Chucky Finster Funko Pop. We've got Angelica Pickles with her mean self. <laughs> Tommy Pickles. They're so cute. I cannot wait to hang these up, you guys. These are so cool. We've got Susie Carmichael. Oh, so cute. She's like holding a little like narwhal plushie in her hand. It's super cute. And then this is so cute that this comes in a duo pack. We have Phil and Lil DeVille. How freaking cool is that? Like, so sweet of him to get me all of the Rugrat, um, Funko Pops. And then this was really neat. This is the last thing. And this is actually really cool. I didn't even know they made stuff like this. So he got me this board that hangs up on the wall. And this is a Funko Pop holder. So what you do is you take the back of the Funko Pop and you put it in the slots and the slots hold the Funko Pops. You guys, this is so freaking neat. Like, how stinking cute is that? I'm like in love with this. I absolutely love this. How cool, how freaking cool. And we have two more rows, so I cannot wait to fill this up. I don't keep all of my boxes. Um, some of the boxes I've actually just thrown away and I just keep the Funko Pops to put out on display in my room. Um, but some of the boxes I would like to keep so I can have them on display on here, which is so cool. So I thought that was really neat um, that he got me that. Um, I am on a journey to redecorating our bedroom. I've mentioned this before, but I am working towards like a pink 90s themed bedroom. Um, no, my husband does not mind. Um, he really doesn't care. He thinks it's actually a great idea and he has actually been giving me ideas and just like buying stuff 
for our bedroom for me to decorate so he's actually all for the 90s themed bedroom which i am super excited it's probably going to take a while to get to how i want it to be um but we're going to get there we're going to get there oh also he actually got me one more thing i'm going to pop that up on the screen because it is not put together yet i am in the process of organizing and deep cleaning and going through our room so it can look the way that I want it to look. Um, but he got me this 12 cube um, storage organizer that is going to basically serve as like my dresser. I have a bunch of like storage bins to put in the cubicles that all of my clothes hold and then to put our TV on top of. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. I just need to get our room cleaned up and cleared out so that way he can build it and put that in for me. Um, but yeah, that is everything that my husband got me for Christmas, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all of the Funko Pops and the Funko Pop board he got off of Amazon as well for me. Um, I hope maybe this gave you guys some gift inspiration if you have anybody's birthdays coming up maybe or even Valentine's Day gifts for your significant other um, or even for a best friend or whatever it may be, your sister, your mom, your grandma, whatever. Um, I thought this would make some great gift inspiration if nothing else or if nothing else, you know, just something fun to watch. I know I like watching what other people get for Christmas. I don't know. I just like to be nosy and see what other people are interested in. Um, so I really hope that you guys like this video. This is the last Christmas video. Um, sorry it went up so late. I would have liked it to go up like the day after Christmas or something, but that definitely wasn't going to happen. So anyways thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already you guys i am almost at a thousand subscribers i cannot thank you guys enough watching my channel grow little by little has just been a very proud moment for me from when I started my YouTube channel three years ago to taking a break to coming back at the beginning of this year. So I'm just very proud of my channel and I'm very happy to have you guys and to have my loyal subscribers that are always commenting on my videos. You know who you are. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for tuning in and just thank you for being here on our journey showing you guys our life through YouTube. Thank you guys for getting me almost to a thousand subscribers. You guys are so awesome and you guys are so amazing here on this channel. Um, I have it in like my bio and like the all about me, but like I try to say like this channel is here for inspiration. It is here to lift each other up and become internet friends and just become one big internet family. And I feel like so many people here on in the YouTube community put each other down. They give off hate comments and are just rude and degrading to each other when there's no reason for that. I just feel like if you don't have anything nice to say, why are you even going to comment it in the first place? And if you don't like the person, why even comment? Why even take the time to comment? Why even take the time to continue watching? Like, click out of there and go watch something that you do like. It just, it baffles me, the bullying that I see here on the YouTube community, especially because we're supposed to be grown adults. I mean, I know children and teenagers use this site as well, but come on, you guys, come on. But I do want to thank you guys because I have not received any type of hate comment or anything rude and I love that. You guys are very amazing. So anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this gave you guys some inspiration and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.